Okay, so just want to go over integers again from earlier in the year, just to prep you for the final exam. So in in integers, um, if you need, you can always write out a number line, because on this section of the test, you will not be able to have a calculator. So um, if you're really stuck, you can always use a number line. So I'll do the first few using a number line, and then the rest from there, um, I won't. Uh, the first question here, let's say we have negative 5 plus 3. Using the number line, the way you would do this, you would start at negative 5, right there, and the plus means you go forward three spots. One, two, three. So the answer is negative 2. At this point, though, you should try to not rely too much on the number line and just think you're down 5, then you're up 3. If you're down 5 and you're up 3, you're still down 2. Common sense usually works with these questions. But if you need a number line, you can always draw one on the exam and figure it out from there. 3 minus 7 is the next one. For 3 minus 7, again, if you're using the number line, 3, what you do with the minus sign is you go backwards. 3, backwards 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You get negative 4. Common sense, you have 3, you lose 7, you're going to end up with negative 4. Okay, what about something like this? Negative 4 minus 3. Okay, well again, using the number line, you'll start at negative 4, and you're going to go backwards 3. Starting at negative 4, backwards 3. 1, 2, 3 would give you negative 7. Or, if you want to do the common sense way, you're down four, then you're down three more, you're going to be down seven. All right. Um, how about this? Sometimes you see questions like this. Negative two plus negative five, and the negative five is in brackets. Sometimes they put it in brackets just to keep the signs all tidy. Sometimes they don't. What do you do here? Well, if you remember, we have a double sign, a plus and a minus. And the rules that we discussed earlier was that when you have signs that are different, it's going to be negative. So we should rewrite this question as negative 2, get rid of the double sign, the plus minus, gives you a minus 5. So now it's as simple as you're down 2, then you're down 5, which means you're down 7. Okay. Next up, what if we had 3 minus negative 2? What are you going to do here first? Well, you see a double sign, two signs next to each other. The signs are the same here, so that's going to become a positive. So we can rewrite this as 3 plus 2, which is simply 5. Number six, negative three minus, in brackets, negative six. So for this one, again, you see a double sign, the two negatives. Signs are the same, so that means it's po that'll turn into a positive. So we can rewrite this as negative three plus uh, six. You're down three, you're up six. That means you're up three. Okay, so that's adding, subtracting integers. The number line is helpful there. Um, next, multiplying and dividing. Now in multiplying and dividing, it's also pretty easy. Actually, it's even I think it's even easier um, because all you have to know are the rules that we just went over here about double signs. When the signs are the same, the answer is positive. When the signs are different, the answer is negative and then you just do the multiplying and dividing as normal. So let's say if you have negative 5 times 3, the signs here are different, a negative and a positive, which they didn't show, but it's an imaginary positive sign. When there's no sign there, you assume it's positive. So signs are different, so you know for sure it's going to be negative. Then you just go 5 times 3, which is 15. All right, next up, what if you had something like this, 3 times negative 7? Again, positive, negative. 
Signs are different, so you know for sure it's negative. And this goes 3 times 7, 21. Done. They don't always show multiplying with the x. Um, actually, more often than not, in high school, we don't use the x sign for multiplying. We show something like this. Negative 4, bracket, bracket, negative 3, bracket, bracket. Now, this is not negative 4 minus 3. There is nothing in between these brackets. So when there's nothing in between the brackets, it's multiplying. Here, the signs are the same. Signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. Don't really have to put a plus sign there, but whatever. And it's 4 times 3, 12. Positive 12, or just simply 12. What if you had something like this? Well, dividing question. 18 divided by negative 3. Positive, negative. Signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Negative 6. All right. Um, what if you had negative 20 divided by negative 4? Well, in this case, signs are the same, so it's going to be positive. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Positive 5. Or just 5. And one last one we'll do. Sometimes they show divided like this. Negative 14 over 2. That means divided by. So it's negative 14 divided by 2. Same rules. Check to see what the signs are. The signs are negative and positive, so they're different. Different, negative. 14 divided by 2 is 7, so it's negative 7. That's it. That's it for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. Talk to you later. Bye.